Hi. Hello. Hi, beautiful Alana. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hi. How are you? You guys are probably wondering what I'm doing in the car. I'm actually filming today. Hi, Desi, from the car. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Because um, I just put Maya down to sleep. Um, I'm trying to be, let her have a little bit of quiet time and sleep as much as she can. Um, hello, hi everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I guess you guys wanna know what I eat in a day. <laughs> Don't know why it's making me nervous, but um, I do love my food. Um, and I, we ha I have started cooking much more since uh, we've been in lockdown. I used to cook a lot beforehand, but I feel like I'm constantly in the kitchen now. Um, hi everybody, thank you so much for joining. Um, so, I don't know, I guess I, I'm gonna start by telling, well, saying that I'm not a nutritionist. So, um, whatever I'm about to tell you is purely what I do in a day, what I eat in a day, um, so, and what works for me. So, not a nutritionist. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna share with you um, basically a day's, um, what I eat in a day. And, um, and a couple of the vitamins I take. Since you're interested, so shall we start? Um, so I'll just take today as an example so far. This morning, I usually wake up, well, Maya usually, she's my alarm clock, so she wakes me up between five and six in the morning. First thing I'll do is um, I go and have a little glass of water. Um, I, since it's so early, I make myself a coffee. I'm a co I, I love my coffee, so can't function without one. And first things first, I'll just make a quick instant coffee since our coffee machine makes such, so a lot of noise. And I'm not in charge of the coffee machine. Mark actually no normally makes me a coffee um, uh, a little later on in the day. But um, yeah, I'll just sip on a coffee, wait till the boys wake up, and then um, Mark is generally actually awake. Um, quite early too, but Nicholas, I'll wake, I'll wait till he gets up, and then I'll start brekkie. Um, brekkie normally, I mean, it always changes, but this morning we, Nicholas wanted pancakes, bacon, and eggs, which is his favorite. So we all ended up having bacon, pancakes, and eggs. Um, I make the pancakes on the healthier side. So this morning we used almond meal, and um, with. And I use so I, I make them from scratch almond meal instead of flour um, sometimes I use whole wheat and I'll um, use I put I put two eggs in there um, milk which is almond milk um, what else um, I put a little dash of vanilla essence a splash of salt some butter I love my butter um, it's very good for you some natural fats and what else did I pop in there? I think that's it. So whisk it all around and make, that's our pancake mix. Then we'll have a side of bacon with that. I'll have a little bit, a little piece. I love my sweet and savory. Um, hi guys. Um, and, and then we also have some um, fried eggs, sunny side up. <laughs> it's a big breakfast. We love our big breakfast. Um, we start off the day making sure that we're well nourished to take us through till 12 um, lunchtime. Um, so that's what we generally, what, what we had this morning and we'll have that with some uh, hello from Argentina <laughs> with some either freshly squeezed orange juice. Didn't have time for that this morning so it was just um, a handy, really beautiful kind of clean orange juice that we bought from Coles. Um, what else and I think that's what well, that was our breakfast and we generally kind of I mean that's pretty filling if we don't have that we normally have oats which um, we make with almond milk as well and I put some butter in there rolled oats I'll sneak in some hemp and some chia seeds for extra nutrition and of course butter no, I'm not on any specific diet. Um, I, I mean, I, I just listen to my body. If I'm craving something, I'll have, you know, I'm, I'm just on a well-balanced diet, I guess, everything in moderation. So I don't 
specifically follow a diet, especially since um, I'm still breastfeeding. I want to make sure that I'm nourishing my body enough to be able to feed a little one. I know Maya's <laughs> uh, two, she's turned, she turned two in August and she's still very much um, interested in breast milk. So we're, I'm sticking with it. I'm going with her flow. She'll tell me when she's ready to. Hi, beautiful Christy. <laughs> She'll tell me when she's ready to, to move on to just regular milk, I guess. But um, yeah, so I'm just not following any diet. I just listen to my body. And of course, I'm all about moderation. I'll exercise and I'll, I try to eat a well-balanced diet of a bit of everything I don't you know I'll have that piece of chocolate hi gorgeous <laughs> um, once I mean I have the biggest sweet tooth that is a lie I pretty much have something sweet every day um, <laughs> if Mark is on here I'm he's probably gonna <laughs> not like shake his head um, he is so clean and healthy and he's an amazing um, he inspires me a lot in terms of a lot of areas, especially his discipline with his um, healthy eating. <laughs> but um, yeah, I I do like I do have a sweet tooth, so hence with my oatmeal, I'll have like lots of honey. Um, I'll have peanut butter in there too, and I'll mash up a banana for the kids too in there. So I try to just I mean it tastes amazing. I just try to add as much nutrition and, and nutritionist foods in there as, as I can and hide them if I have to <laughs> ah, the perks of having kids anyway um so that would I mean so that would be oatmeal for breakfast um, this morning we had pancakes bacon and eggs um and of course I had that too um one of my all-time favorite meals I love my sweet and savory um what else and then also I just love my eggs in general so some days I'll just have two eggs with half an avocado again amazing you know natural health um, fatty foods are the way to go to nourish your body they're good fats so don't be afraid of that <laughs> um, and I'll have like some little cherry tomatoes but I'm not big on bread so um, I try to eat a bit of bread because it's good fiber, obviously, and um, but I forget about it a lot, a lot, a lot of the time. Sorry. So yeah, that's for breakfast, and then as a snack, it would be if I don't have banana with my oatmeal, I'll have banana around 10, 11 if I have to, just to keep my energy up. You too. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think I, I love carbs. I used to love carbs, but I'm kind of slowly forgetting about them somehow. <laughs> um, hi, beautiful Leah. Um, so thank you for coming. <laughs> um, so yeah, I that's brekkie and then a banana for snack time um, with some, maybe some almonds if I really get hungry. But um, what else? Oh yeah, and then Mark, he would normally make me the best latte <laughs> around uh, 10 ish so that you know if I wake up at five six o'clock in the morning by 10 I don't know I just feel like I need another coffee I think if you if you followed me you'd know by now that I'm I'm a I'm a coffee holic <laughs> um I tend to have quite a lot but I'm trying to manage that at the moment and have like two or three and on on that coffee note at the end of the day I've actually switched so I don't get too much caffeine. I've switched to this little guy, Rich Roast. It's, um, what is it? It's, I'm not sure if you, it's a coffee alternative. It's made up of, um, sorry, barley, rye, chicory, malted barley, and it's all roasted and it tastes like coffee. So I'm tricking my brain. I can't do coffee. I've never had a cup of coffee. Really? He does deliver. <laughs> he does. He makes the best coffees um i'm always waiting for him to make me one and i, I always look forward to it um so hi yeah, he's on here hello baby um yes so you don't have coffee either christy that's interesting i mean you don't have i have coffee i wasn't sure if i caught you right like in regards to that do you have coffee or you don't if you can answer that again because you your message kind of um, disappeared pretty quickly before I got to um, read it. Anyway, 
I'm blabbering on. <laughs> so that's brekkie and then um, um, little snack time. Lunch time today um, we visited, we paid a visit to my mother-in-law. She lives alone so we made we come once a week to check up on her and um, make sure she's okay. So today she had an amazing roast um, turkey with vegetables and an amazing Greek salad ready for us. Um, she also made, um, what is that Greek? I can't stand the smell of it. Coffee, that's interesting. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I love it. I love, I love the smell. I mean, it wakes me up. It really gives me, like, a, a, just the smell kind of gives me a bit of zest for life. I love it. Um, hello. And um, yeah, so my mother-in-law is the most amazing cook. And she had this amazing roast ready for us and it was delicious. As I said, I don't, um, I don't go on any, on any diet. I mean, I just eat what's proportionate for me. So I don't eat till I'm completely stuffed <laughs> and I can't move. Um, I'm full and then I'm like, okay, I'm good. But, um, and as I told you before, I am breastfeeding. So I'm, I'm making sure that I'm still nourishing my body enough for, for Maya. Um, so yeah, we had a big lunch. So normally I'll have a big breakfast, a little, uh, not so big lunch, but still quite, um, you know, enough to, you know, obviously f feed me and keep me full till dinner and beyond, I guess, because normally my dinners aren't very big at all. Um, so for dinner, I would, tonight I'm planning on having just a soup broth which I prepared this morning so I boil um, beef bones um, thank you <laughs> um, so I, I boiled beef bones and I'll stick in some lots of vegetables lots of garlic and onion carrots parsnip I'll pop in um, what else what else some potato Sometimes I'll sneak in some zucchini just so then I can blend that up for the kids. I make this mean sauce for the kids. Um, that's something else. I'm, I'm kind of veering off um, the topic, but I'll just have the soup broth with some veggies in there tonight. Um, yes, the broth is amazing. Apparently it's the best superfood you can have for your skin. Um, so it's an amazing collagen um, producer, I guess. It really, um, it's one of the best ways to enhance your collagen I guess and so and not only that but it's amazing for your um, immunity especially during this time I make a soup broth once a week at least yeah oh you have it three times a week yes well I make enough to last us at least three times in three days in a row um, when I make it because obviously it's just I'll boil the kids pasta in it um, instead of using just normal um, water just for that extra <laughs> um, nutrition so basically for lunch that's what we had today but normally what I would do at home I'd make up a nice pie a chicken pie with carrots and onion and garlic and um, I'll make the dough from scratch if I have time normally I, I try to um, and what else? I mean, lunchtime, sometimes if we're in a rush or we're out and about, I'll make up some uh, sandwiches, toasted cheese and ham sandwiches, keeping it simple, really. So, um, hello. Yeah, just, I think, listening to my body a lot of the times, if I'm not hungry, I won't eat, or I'll have something small. Uh, instead and then I'll wait till a little later on I don't have a set routine when I eat um, or a set timetable I just like to listen to my body um, what else what else so yeah dinner times I usually have very light meals um, so then I don't feel heavy and I'm not um, I guess falling asleep with a very full tummy um, which is not good for you um, as then obviously all your energy during the night goes into processing your food and not healing your body so I don't go to sleep straight after a meal and what else 
We generally have our um, dinner times quite early. You'll probably be shocked to know that we have it around 5 p.m., sometimes 4.30. By 7 p.m., Nicholas is hungry, and so I'll make him a second dinner. But um, yeah, I'm done. At, by 5, 5.30, I've eaten my dinner, and I don't eat anything else apart from another coffee if I have to stay up to get some work done but it won't be the um, normal coffee it's the alternative that doesn't have the caffeine in it you have it at 4:35 too ah <laughs> got more in common than I thought <laughs> it's a good time I feel it works for us and Mark loves it at that time too it gives us enough time to digest before we sleep um, and I mean, if I get, if we get snackish, if I get snackish, we'll have some almonds. I'll have an apple. And um, what else? What else is there to have? I mean, a piece of fruit, but normally it's an apple or a mandarin or an orange um, if I get hungry and a little handful of almonds. But that's generally what I do. And um, I find it works for me. Where can we get that coffee? Oh. I think I got this either um, from Whole Foods or Coles. That's where I shop at most. They're the only places I shop at, actually. <laughs> so you'll find them, you'll find it there. It's really tasty. And having too much caffeine gives me anxiety um, if, I, if I overdo it during the day. And I tend to not sleep very well. So I've swapped to having one of these if I really crave another coffee at night. And um, I love it. I just pop a little bit of honey, um, that's how I have my coffee, I pop a little honey in there and I'm good to go. What are your go-to dinners? So do you drink? I don't, I'm not, I don't drink alcohol, no, I'm not a drinker, not anymore, I used to, I mean I, obviously everybody does when you go out and you're young and if I do go out to dinner with Mark, I'll have a glass of wine, um, red, and it's got to be something sweet. But apart from that, I don't mind. Yeah, I'm not, I, I've lost the taste of alcohol. You know, I don't crave it. But my go-to dinners, um, my go-to dinner is like, I'll, for the kids it's mac and cheese, but I'll use, I know I've spoken about this before, it's mac and cheese, but it's a very healthy um, alternative to mac and cheese. Um, it's not your traditional, just cheese and butter and, and pasta it's a little more complicated but I can share that with you next time um, what else I would do like grilled fish with vegetables and rice brown rice always um, just keeping it super simple and clean um, that's basically what I do and I'll I, I do like a nice risotto the other day I made um, a beautiful stir-fry with fish, um, with salmon. It was like some type of Asian inspired thing. I just kind of made it up myself. Um, aside from coffee, what else do you, I just drink water. I'm not a big soft, I don't drink soft drinks. Um, I'll have a splash of apple juice. I love apple juice, just a little bit, um, or orange juice, freshly squeezed orange juice. But apart from that, it's just water. <laughs> yeah, I've lost, I mean, it's been a while since not having kids and since having kids of course I still breastfeed so I'm very careful with that but um, yeah I don't crave alcoholic beverages um, and apart from going out I'll have you know whenever I'm out with Mark I'll have a glass of wine but that even that is a bit too much for me these days as um, <laughs> I'm a cheap drunk <laughs> um, yeah one sip is all it takes to get me all giggly it's not good <laughs> I probably have embarrassed Mark a couple of times that's all right though <laughs> um that's life <laughs> but yeah anyway it's fun that's why you know you go out and uh so yeah I I think that's pretty much it I just wanted to take you through some maybe some of the vitamins where do I get my hair cut and colored so I see a beautiful girl, Maria, at MP. She's got a salon, a beautiful salon in Williamstown. That's where we live. And um, I'll tag her in this post when I upload it at the end of the day. Um, but 
or well, straight after here I'm um, talking to you guys I'll tag her in the post her name is Maria and her salon's called MP if I can if that's correct I'm so sorry Maria <laughs> uh, maybe you can comment if you're on this thread um, but she cuts and colors my hair it definitely needs a bit of a trim right now because it is um, obviously it's been a while but yeah um, some of the vitamins I take obviously hello beautiful Espa thanks for joining I'm just talking about what I eat in a day we've spoken about everything and now we've gone down to vitamins so I take Alivet um, for healthy baby healthy mum since I'm still breastfeeding so it's um I don't take them religiously I like with my vitamins I like to take them for a course of two weeks and then have a month break I'm not sure if that's a good thing I've got to really look into that but I just find I just feel like that kind of works for me and feel I feel like that's what I need to do um, I also take fish oil supplements this one I've just finished um, it's by nature's way and it's a really concentrated one it's for health a heart brain and eyes and joints um, also great for arthritis which I felt like I was getting a, a little bit at the start of the year I think in the winter time just between the fingers I'm not sure um, what that was about but anyway I, that's all gone um, and I think it's because of these guys so highly recommend I'm not sure um, and then I was gifted some vitamins by Swiss um, Swiss Beauty recent well, a few months ago a um, couple of months ago and I've been taking them nearly daily like obviously two weeks on a month off um, but I really feel like I've noticed a difference one is for um, hair nutrition for women it's this one this is not sponsored omega-3 that's why your skin glows too oh is that right that's interesting hmm, thank you I think yeah I've definitely noticed um, an improvement in my skin um, and I wasn't sure if it was because of the collagen glow <laughs> so these are the two that I've been taking this is not sponsored in any way I just thought I'd give them a go um, not big on vitamins but I just felt like these ones really kind of struck a chord with me collagen glow and hair nutrition for women um, supports hair growth and hair strength for lush hair and I feel like it the, my hair has really thickened up a lot I'm not sure if it's because of this it could be a coincidence but um, yeah I, I have a good feeling about these guys so let me know if you want me to tag them maybe and you can know more about it I'll let you know let me actually let me just put them up here so you guys can see what they are properly and then I try to drink as much water as I can I'm terrible with drinking water Mark constantly reminds me have you have you had enough water today have you had enough water today he knows because I'm always on my feet running around doing things and bless him he's always reminding me to drink my water so I'm constantly thinking I need to drink more I need to drink more um, and I think since our bodies are 60% made up of 60% water um, it's important yeah to give it enough during the day I think we start to feel really lethargic and our skin starts losing its elasticity and um, just not you don't feel really energetic if you don't have if you haven't had enough and I know that I get migraines and I get really cloudy if I don't have enough water my hair thickened up during lockdown because I was able to rest a little more yes that's true possibly that's the reason why we haven't been going out so no need to style <laughs> um, it's had a lot of rest <laughs> has it been eight months since we've been in lockdown it's crazy Oh, can Mark do a live about a diet and nutrition? He is amazing. He's so, I, I'm constantly inspired and in awe of him. He's so um, good at sticking to his diet. He's very, um, what is that word? He's, hmm, sorry, I've lost. I've got to have some more. I haven't had my um, omega-3s today. <laughs> um, my brain help. Um, you have your own personal. Yes, I do have my, he's amazing. He's constantly guiding me. Um, through exercises like during obviously I'm not I mean I t used to be a runner and what would run like morning and night 
with kids it's a little different I run after them <laughs> a couple of weeks ago my sister Virginia and I came across your photos in a bridal mag hmm Virginia and you have done oh Virginia of course yes great to see you oh hello yes I used to model with your sister Virginia a while ago um, we were with the same agency with Vivian's model management and um, I remember Virginia very well we used to do lots of work together Disciplined is the word. Thank you. I was like cranking my brain trying to think of that word. Thank you. He's very disciplined and I will pass that on. Perhaps he should do a live and talk about um, his um, all, you know, like everything he does, eat wise and, you know, exercise and stuff like that. What exercise do you do? Apart from running around after the kids, I tend to play a lot with them at the park. I don't just sit down and, and watch them play. I'm really active with them. We play lots of running and tagging games, climbing. I, I'm up there on the play equipment. I'm sorry, moms and dads, and I'm sliding down that slide. Um, I've started enjoying um, a little bit of running again, um, solo running and um, power walking. Um, Mark bought me an amazing treadmill um, that I use, I try to use daily, that was the aim, but I don't know where the time goes <laughs> and sometimes I, it doesn't happen, but um, I'm definitely inspired to use it a lot. It's a great investment, especially with this lockdown, not being able to get out as much. Um, it's yeah, the treadmill or uh, you know, obviously the exercise with the kids. And then he has shown me some floor exercises, amazing floor exercises that I incorporate too. Um, I can do a little post on that if you guys are interested. But yeah, that's basically it. It's nothing too rigorous or um, there's nothing too structured about my exercise. Unfortunately, with having kids, they're my number one priority. I'm always out to, to take them out um, and make sure that they get enough exercise. Um, what, which part of Romania I, is your family from? Okay, so I'm from, my father's from Brila and um, my mom is from Cluj. So I'm a bit of both. <laughs> I was born in Brila um, in the countryside. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have a bit of gypsy in me. I'd like to think so. <laughs> I was born there. Um, would love to know what treadmill you got. Yeah, I'll tag. You know what? I can tag the company, the treadmill company, um, in the post that I do later. It's amazing. I actually recommended it to a couple of my girlfriends, and they continue sending me messages. Every time they use it, they're like, it is the best treadmill ever. And again, Mark sourced that for me. He, he knows, he, he just knows. And it is definitely the best investment. Say something in Romanian, you cheeky bugger, you. Cefac. Nu știu ce să zic. Vorbesc românești acasă cu mami. Acum. Dar Marco nu știe cum să vorbească încă. I just said I speak Romanian at home with my mom. Um, and Mark doesn't speak it yet <laughs> but I'm working on it so yeah I speak I spoke um, I grew up speaking Romanian at home um, only Romanian in the house and then of course learnt English at school <laughs> it's a beautiful language it's Latin based it's I think it's easy to to learn but uh, yeah I've always wanted to since meeting Mark, I've wanted to learn Greek and I pick up little things in here, here and there when he speaks to his mom or dad. But uh, yeah, I just, um, I got to get better about it. I think once Nicholas starts um, Greek school, <laughs> we're looking at it, um, we, I'll probably join him. <laughs> oh, of course, you're welcome. <laughs> Is there anything else you guys want to know? Um, I will tag some of the companies I've mentioned today not sponsored at all these are just things i do like i said at the start these are things i do um and that that work for me so yes so nicholas up until he was three he he understood greek all the way i think um he, we've kind of been a little bit slack about it that's why we want to send him to greek school 
on Saturday school, <laughs> that old school kind of thing that you do. And, um, and I think that will help. He'll pick it up really, kids pick it up really quickly. But my mom speaks a little Romanian to them and I think we're, gonna, we're looking at encouraging our parents to speak more Romanian and Greek to the kids. Um, nice. Oh, that's nice. I think it's beautiful to grow up learning another language. Um, I've really benefited from it. I know growing, going to school with my brothers and sister, we're able to always talk amongst ourselves and not have anyone else know what we're saying. It was really fun. So um, I hope that we do um, get serious about teaching the kids. Oh, thank you, Clarissa. That's such a beautiful thing to say. Thank you. You are too. I always look forward to seeing your beautiful, inspiring posts and you've got beautiful energy too. Thank you. That's so sweet. I'm going to screenshot that comment. That's really <laughs> Sorry. I'm... Uh, yes, so hello. Hi. <laughs> MP Creative. That's your company. Sorry. So my the beautiful woman that does my hair cuts and colors my hair um, her name's Maria and she's at she's just given the thumbs up MP creative 173 is her Instagram um, but I'll tag her in this post she does amazing color I've just gotten a home care package offer and I've added some highlights um, pretty easy to do and um, as you can see it does need a bit of a cut not just a little bit but yeah she's amazing love you Maria <laughs> you do an amazing job she does she does she's very good she's very good I'm so lucky I found her just around the corner from my home so I don't have to venture off too far into the city these days um, to get my hair done obviously you can't get it done anytime soon the salons are closed for till next month is it next month yes it is next month and end of next month so but it's good to have a salon nearby. I can run in, run out, and the kids will barely know that I've gone. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. Um, we try, we try. I think the aim is just to, you know, be good people. Thank you. That's really kind of you to say. <laughs> I'm not sure what else. Um, so I've spoken to, yeah, on that note, I do have a bottle of water in the car. And for anybody that's just joined us, you're probably wondering, um, <laughs> what am I doing in the car? So um, my, I put Maya down um, before I came to do the live. She's gone down for a nap and she normally wakes up pretty soon after, for, after 45 minutes if she hears my voice. Um, so I just wanted to let her sleep and came into the car to do this um it's so lovely to see you too christy so do you do any meditation um so meditation i used to and i find that i don't i mean this could be an excuse but i just don't have the time first thing in the morning maya's woken up at five in the morning most days and i'm just up and ready to um to take on the day not sure if I'm ready to wake up any earlier than five to get my meditation done, <laughs> but I highly recommend it. I definitely love meditating. I know I'll take a moment out of the day just to breathe, and that would be my, that's kind of like a meditation for me. If I'm feeling anxious, I'll um, take some time out and I'll take a moment and just breathe deeply and do some breathing exercises. Just focus on my breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, and that's it. But I, yeah, meditation, I'm working on that one. Curls today, yes. Well, it's my natural wave enhanced because I just popped a few neater curls in there. But yes, this is my natural hair. Yes, with three coffees, you probably can't. I wouldn't be able to meditate. That's true. I'm high on like high energy all the time that's probably one of the reasons why i can't you're right there i've got to rethink how many i mean i have rethink i've rethinked my the amount of coffees i've had on many occasions and i'm slowly getting them down i know um i have at least yeah i've got i have three a day thank you thank you <laughs> mark likes it like this too i'm i like it a little bit more neat and slick but 
no time these days, barely any time with the kids at home. Hopefully homeschooling will start again um, next term in a couple of weeks. So fingers crossed for all our mum, for all us mums and dads out there. That's okay. <laughs> so yeah, um, that is what I do. Uh, I eat in a day and yeah, it doesn't, there's nothing strict about it. There's no diet, there's no plans. It's ba basically what the family wants to eat, I'll eat too. <laughs> um, I'll tweak things for Mark or for myself. Um, like in the bacon, I guess sometimes with the pancakes in the morning, we won't have the bacon. But um, yeah, generally I make one type of food and we all eat it. Um, it, you know, it obviously um, in the past, I used to make like three different types of meals for Nicholas because he wouldn't want to eat one thing. So then I'll make him something else, but I've learned to just be a little bit more strict in regards to what we eat this is what it is and if no one wants to eat it that's fine they can go to bed hungry but it's important to yeah just yeah I think I mean I'm not going to be in the kitchen every single moment of the day so there's more important things to do of course cooking is a very big part of my life and I cook at home we barely eat out because I want to know what's in my food Intermittent fasting, very popular. Yes, they, intermittent fasting is very popular. Sorry to interrupt, I just don't wanna miss that um, message. Mark has tried it and he really, um, I think he's, he really likes it. I've never done it. I'm not interested in that. Um, as I said, like, I know what works for my body and I'll continue doing the things that I, you know, I grew up doing. My mom has instilled a really positive um, mentality towards food. So I do love my food and I just eat everything in moderation. Um, intuitive eating into lifestyle. That's why you are such a growing. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Desi. I li just listen to my body. Um, if I'm craving something, I'll, you know, I'll tend if it's something naughty, I'll just try to have a little bit and then that craving will subside. But mostly it's about balance and leading a healthy, active lifestyle as well. Um, that's important. So moving that body is super important. I don't deplete myself of anything, but you know, obviously saying that I do have smaller dinners because I find that that just keeps me at a consistent weight and helps me keep fit. I don't like having heavy dinners. I have my biggest meal in the morning and then it just kind of goes smaller towards the end of the day. We're not a restaurant. <laughs> you know, yes, I used to, big mistake. So very picky eater, eater Nicholas was. And I've learned, so one meal and everybody enjoys it and that's it kitchen clothes <laughs> otherwise I find that I'm always in the kitchen if I make Marcus a separate meal then Nicholas and Maya and, and then myself I won't have any time and I mean trust me I've done that before and it's literally my whole life revolves around that kitchen and you never get time to yourself not that I do really these days but <laughs> at least um, enough time to eat yeah, cooking's amazing and I love knowing that I've made this food and I'm able to feed my family and feed my body and I know what's in it, in the food that I bake. Um, it's all healthy and nutritiousness. We don't re I don't really eat fried foods. How is everybody? No protein powders. Um, uh, unless Mark makes me a smoothie in the morning, I'll help, I'll just, I, share a smoothie with him and he'll just put his own protein powder in there don't know what it is <laughs> not sure if i should be eating um actually drinking it but it tastes good so <laughs> sorry <laughs> um everybody is great um maya is sleeping at the moment hence why i'm in the car doing this live nicholas and mark are probably in the backyard playing soccer um do you eat carbs in the evening? No, I don't. I've noticed I've kind of turned off carbs naturally. Nothing 
planned um, but I have to make a conscious effort to eat them but when I do I'll, it'll be all whole grains so whole, whole wheat bread um, brown rice and everything's kind of as natural you know as possible but yeah not much carbs which you know i'm not sure if that's a good thing i any protein but do you, you can't in the evening but no carbs in the evening no it's just very light food um yeah <laughs> anything else guys i'm prob i've probably been on here for a while if um, you're probably bored <laughs> or I'm not sure if you want to know anything else if I've repeated myself too many times but I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you could possibly want to know I love cooking in coconut oil um, so everything I, I cook is pretty much in coconut oil or butter I use olive oils in our salads Oh, carbs are great for sleep. Desi is amazing with um, all her healthy um, advice. Um, so carbs are great for sleeping. Okay, yeah, I've got to talk to you about that. I probably should. Um, <laughs> it'll help me get to sleep earlier probably. I'm a, I stay up quite late, which is not good. Okay, I'm really happy that you guys have had gotten some great advice. I can see... Um, Hopefully, if there's anything else that you guys want to know, just when I pop this post up later, you can just um, um, send me a message maybe or comment under the post and I'll answer that for you guys. Yeah, no, it's always a pleasure to, to come on these lives. I look forward to it every week and connecting with you guys and getting to know a little bit more of you, about you. Your little... Yeah, coconut oil. I actually use coconut oil for everything as a uh, moisturizer. I do not buy any moisturizers, really, actually. Um, I use coconut oil on the kids as a massage oil. Um, as you know, the skin um, absorbs everything you put on it. So, um, coconut oil all the way. Yes, we will chat sooner rather than later hopefully it's been too long all right guys i hope you've enjoyed um listening <laughs> to some of my health advice don't take it too seriously i am not a nutritionist obviously and um i wish i was <laughs> but um yeah these are just a few of the tips and things that i do um and things that work for me so i'm not saying they'll work for you but i think they won't hurt um, if you want to give them a try then nothing will um, anyway I think I'll leave it at that <laughs> but um, I thank you very much for joining me and um, I look forward to next week um, and I'll chat next week I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I'll speak to you guys I'll see you on here next week hopefully you have a lovely week too Susie Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.